Hello folks, this is Tommy Saudors 78 and today we're gonna talk about a difficult subject of human seal conflict. We're gonna be specific to human seal conflict in Ireland, but I'm sure that issue exists in other parts of the world as well. You might remember that in episode 72, Seal Rescue Ireland, I specifically said that in that episode we were talking about seals and we talked talking about seal rescue but purposefully we did not dive into human seal conflict because it's a bigger subject and I kind of didn't want to mix the two. And since then I was uh, trying to record an episode discussing this issue and I found it difficult to find people who would be willing to talk with me on the record on both sides of the argument. And then one day Dan Brosnan called me. You might remember Dan Brosnan. He was in episode 51 along with his father, Bertie Brosnan. And Dan has a, such a special place in this podcast because he is bringing really excellent guests, people who are willing to talk about difficult subjects. And I think that we need discussion about difficult subjects. So uh, just by the way, just check out Dan's Facebook page, Dingle Peninsula Fishing and Hunting. So going back, Dan called me and said that he knows a fisherman, a troller man, who would be happy to talk about human seal conflict. And his name is Ian Flannery. And today, in today's episode, your guests and my guests are Ian Flannery and Dan Brosnan. So today you will have an opportunity to hear opinions from the other side of the spectrum, um, and, and, and by other side of the spectrum, I'm comparing that with episode 72, where we talked about seal rescue and how seals need to be rescued if something bad happened to them. So today, uh, we're going to hear the opposite point of view, uh, meaning we actually don't need to rescue seals. We need less seals because of the damage they're causing to the economy and potentially to the environment. So just to finish off this long introduction, uh, I am still really keen to explore this subject even further. So if you're listening to this podcast and would like to make your voice or your opinion heard, uh, please do uh, contact me through any of my social media pages or through the comments or through the email on my website, tommysoutdoors.com, uh, and we will we'll get this discussion going. And just before I let you enjoy this episode of Tommy's Outdoors, uh, just a quick reminder, this episode of the podcast is audio version only, uh, but despite that, it will be uploaded to YouTube as a audio. But on my YouTube channel, Tommy's Outdoors YouTube channel, there is a lot of uh, video podcasts and a lot of other videos. So you might consider subscribing to Tommy Saudor's YouTube channel. And by the way, it's a great help for me and for the podcast and for the channel. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, Liam Flannery and Dan Brosnan, and we're going to talk about human seal conflict in Ireland. Once again, Dan, you you have uh, like you always bring in guests to my podcast. <laughs> yeah. So so for, have... first you brought your your father. I yeah. I really should remember what number of the episode was, but it was uh, about salmon poaching. Yeah. And today you brought Liam. Yeah. Um, so thanks for that, man. No problem. Yeah, it's an interesting subject. I yes. I thought that you'd like it. Oh, yeah, and, absolutely. And you do a good job, Tommy, so... Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very professional. I appreciate, appreciate it. Liam, maybe, maybe let's start with introduction. So if you can if you introduce yourself to, to our listeners, what you do and, and what's the deal? Deal, I'm the fisherman in Dingle. And uh, the deal is that we have a problem with seals yeah. at the moment. And it's just our whitefish is non-existent at the moment. And we would like to go back whitefishing, but 
just mm. not viable at this present time. And you see, this is this is um, this is great on a couple of for a couple of reasons. Number one, I always wanted to have on the podcast like either farmer or fisherman because you are outdoor people. You work outdoors, and you have a you have appreciation to the outdoors. Yeah. And and also there's like a lot of time on my podcast i'm talking about the conflict between the wildlife and people and different groups clashing and you know people who are you know love all the animals period and hunters and quite often what's funny is that they're really thinking about the same thing they want animals and they want the healthy ecosystem but then somehow they're 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 clashing with each other and listeners through the podcast uh, already might remember that I had an episode about Seal Rescue Ireland and at the beginning of that episode I said that we purposely didn't talk anything about human seal conflict because that requires like it's a bigger subject and it's a it's a separate 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 topic and needs to be treated separately and um, and then Dan, you came came in and said like, "Hey, I I think that I have a guy who can talk about this," and and that was a, kind of like a premature for me because I was planning everything, but I just you know it didn't take me second thoughts. Like, yes, mm. let's do this. Okay. So Liam, I appreciate you being here, and and I really appreciate your 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 talking uh, to us about about the really human seal conflict and the, and the problems that that we currently have. Um, can you, before we jump in into the actual problem, can you lay out to us what is current status of seals as a wildlife, as the, as the animals in terms of protection and, and a little bit just to set up the background, you know, for people who are hearing about this for the first time? Yeah, well, seals are just protected in the Wildlife Act through Europe basically and um, you have special areas of conservation around Ireland in where they're where this man watched over the pups and everything like that and the Blasket Islands happens to be one of them mm-hmm. and a few islands in Galway and a few others around the coast so basically you can't interact at all with them so there's no you know people just can't be there basically when mm-hmm. all this is happening yeah and um, so there's punishments if you if you do interact or if you do try to do anything mm-hmm. about the seals and they're they're severe under under a wildlife act under a wildlife okay act. so but do you do you know how how did it happen that they're that they're so protected well um i suppose before people did you they used to call them the islanders always used to to call them they used mm-hmm. to call them for their fur and eat them and whatever else mm-hmm. but then so, and the islanders became non-existent and they moved to the mainland and mm-hmm. the seal population started growing but the fishermen before um oh, they always used to call them because yeah it had it was a done thing and now with all social media and camera phones and everything like that mm-hmm. no one touches them anymore because it's it's too risky you lose too much because they're so well protected mm-hmm. the the laws if you do if you do touch it i don't want to see what the consequences could be mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because um i mm-hmm. don't know they're <laughs> nearly more protected than ourselves really yeah yeah but is was it at any point the situation where where the population were were collapsing or there was like very few because i, I presume there was a reason while those protections were put into place well like i never heard of them being the numbers being so low there's always been a few hundred and mm-hmm. that's fine like you know every we need to have these in the ecosystem but you don't need thousands and thousands and it's it's not all seals that are the problem but the particular gray seal is a big problem mm-hmm. the common seal won't do damage to much he just eat what he kind of needs to eat really and then he won't Whereas the grey seal will divulge on everything it gets its hand. Mm-hmm. I actually seen grey seals eating dolphins one night. Wow. And it was, it's a, a horrible experience. The dolphins mm. screeching at high pitch like levels. Was it was it alive though? It, it was alive. It was trying to go in and there was three seals technic. This was in the dusk. Really? I was trying to get my phone to record it and my phone was dead. I was like, oh, this would have been perfect to show people that there yeah. are savages. These yeah. And like people look at them and they're cute and everything. It, I, if you go up to one, they are dangerous. They will 
bike yeah. and I feel like oh they're they're like they're like three hundred pounds. Uh, I had the bull be up to, bull be half a ton in anyway. He's, yeah, he's half a, big, a ton. Yeah, he's big like three hundred. So it's three hundred kilo, not three hundred three hundred pounds, three hundred kilo. I don't remember like a gray seal. They're they're big yeah. massive. Maybe five hundred kilos. Up to five hundred. The the bull like the he'd bull. be he'd be a big big bull that. I'd say the majority, maybe two fifty. Yeah, of, yeah, up to three hundred. This is yeah. this is what I remember from yeah. from that that mm. seal rescue episode. Is up to three hundred kilos. Mm. Can you tell us what are what are the species of seal we're talking about? Because we have like common seal, yeah. and the gray seal, yeah. right? I would just I'm not gonna just yeah, but it's the gray seal that's the problem. Mm. The common seal, the gray seal in the islands anyway, from what I know, is actually pushing out the common seal, and the common seal was always on the Blasket Islands. Mm -hmm. there would be a few hundred then but now the gray seal is after taking over because they're bigger they're more superior they're yeah pushing pushing out the other fellas and uh so people say oh they're all seals but no okay so 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 we said so we said the scene and um there there are as far as i'm concerned like a two opposing groups right now one on one hand we have people who love seals and insist that they need to be absolutely protected and like you said they're they're total protection and then on the other hand uh fishermen mainly troller men who are seeing impact the seals are having and you obviously thinking like hey hang on a second they need to be controlled they need to be called in in any way but it's not happening and that's causing the problems, right? Yeah. I just, just, I feel like I'm putting words in your no, mouth. No, no, but see, so, the, so please, so please, please. The question see. I have to ask, what is a sustainable number mm -hmm. of seals in Ireland? And yeah. when Parks and Wildlife can answer that for me, then I'd be happy. But as of now, they say we don't have the research, we don't have the evidence, we don't have the science. But they're doing it the last 20 years. They're surely over 20 years, they've built up enough science to say this is a sustainable number of seals mm -hmm. or whatever it could be like. There. I think that this is a problem across the board. We don't know. We don't know how many animals we have, mm. right? Yeah. We don't know. Like number one, as a as a hunter, and this is like on my podcast was probably already told twenty five times. No, sorry, sixty times. Mm. Right? Like we have seventy episodes. It was so to say. We don't know how much deer we have. We have you know hunters organizations and if you go into the hcap exam they tell you oh you need to call call more hinds because that's how you control the population and you okay how many deer we have we don't know how many badgers we have we don't know how many foxes we have we don't know so i'm like it's not surprisingly if you ask like how many seals we have we don't know mm -hmm. right yeah but the, the question i just asked if you can count say 5,000 seals, is that mm. a sustainable number? Like, what is the mm. number that is, is sufficient for you to take them off the Wildlife Protection Act? Yeah. But they just won't, yeah. <laughs> they won't come out and say a specific number. Like, it, it, like there was always two or 300 in the island. Mm. Why can't it be two or 300? Why does it have to be thousands? Yeah. Like, that makes no sense. How many pups die every year through trampling and through storms and everything because they mm -hmm. can't get up on the beach because the bigger seals are already up there? Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's own right. It's cruelty. That's more. If like that's worse than getting a bullet to the head, being trampled on for twelve hours. Oh no doubt. Yeah, well, no no doubt. Like mm -hmm. we we all know that that for the wild animal being killed by a hunter is probably the most humane. <laughs> Yeah. quickest and nicest death that animal can afford because otherwise it's either starvation or predation or yeah, it's all disease those or something something like that um and you know like i i love to hear your opinion because you're as far as I'm, i understand you're out there and you see what's going on you see those seals yeah. every day so your opinions are not based on uh, kind of tourist boat and <laughs> and just glassing seals from the from the distance. No, you actually interacting with them, and and this is not exactly positive interaction, as far as I understand. Well, yeah, but say I do work sometimes on tourist boats, charter boats, and everything mm -hmm. like that, and they do tell people that not that they're a problem or anything like that, but like um, that they're there. You know, you just point them out or whatever. Mm -hmm. But. Do you know, when you're going to a restaurant and you say you're going to eat food and everything like that, you just tell them what is locally caught and what is not locally caught because mm -hmm. they deserve the right to know as well. Mm -hmm. Like 
if, like if they say why well, we want a salmon the first thing i say don't eat a salmon because it's farmed more mm-hmm. than likely like because, mm-hmm. and you don't want to know what goes into that at the moment mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and so basically when you eat out in dingling with shellfish is our main mm-hmm. i think and then monkfish off a certain boat would be mm-hmm. and then there's other bits and pieces but other than that um gill netting doesn't exist in dingle at the moment um mm-hmm. people try the hooks and lines they're just it's a past it's only a hobby at this stage mm-hmm. um what everyone's really concentrated just shellfish mm-hmm. and even still there, and is it because of the seals it's all because of seals and even still there was you there was gear there was pots being opened Mm-hmm. and it wasn't all pots now but there was a certain few. we had a, a string of pots there last year mm-hmm. and it was an, every time you come to it seven out of ten times maybe ten pots mm-hmm. out of that string would be open and it would be like how about the bait be gone and everything so mm-hmm. you would just be thinking uh, yeah. definitely see and i was talking to a guy in dublin he told me to change all the the clips on the pots because the seals were opening every uh-huh. one of them okay it's it's not imagine it and they say oh seals need to eat fish too but there's too many of them and every, everyone else is suffering because of these seals and the problem they're creating yeah we're not telling we're not asking for a total wipeout we're asking for a mm-hmm. reduction and a management plan put in place like every other animal in ireland mm-hmm. exactly why does it why do they have to go out of control yeah and if people want to take care of them why don't they build ponds in the back of their houses and take them home yeah like them? well you know obviously this is this is this is typical right that you know uh it's always easiest for for people who have no stake in the game have a have a uh, like a categorical opinions about something right but they're not but so could you explain that because like every animal and we have a, like a quick chat before we started recording we have uh uh, option in Ireland, which is Section Forty Two, uh, to control animals that are that are protect. So, for example, is it Forty Two Section? Yeah, Section Forty Two. Right. So, for example, deer has a has an open and closed season in Ireland. Yeah. Now you can shoot deer, and so for and and on top of that, like in Kerry, you're not allowed to to shoot red deer. Now, if the deer is causing agricultural damage farmer can uh, apply for section 42 permit and get the deal deer problem deer removed mm-hmm. whether it's a deer in carry whether it's a outside of the hunting season whatever else right so in theory i presume that would apply to seal that you could apply for section 42 and remove problem seal no, now it's... now what's the problem with that and is it or is it theory only it's so Can section, you pull that mic closer yeah, to your face? Sorry. And in section 42, you have to pick out a particular seal that's causing damage. I, I could bring out uh, the officer and bring him back to the islands and say, it's any one of those there, pick out one. And you, every, time, every time you apply for section 42, it's only one animal. Mm-hmm. You can't say a number of animals. But so you, how can you pick out what animal is doing the damage? Mm-hmm. You're not, you, firstly, you can't shoot from a boat because it's next to impossible yeah because the boat's rocking you're never going to hit your target mm-hmm. um so it has to be from land mm-hmm. so you could be 10 miles off west of the blaskets and a seal's eating the fish out of the nets yeah you're, you're hardly going to ring up clarney and say lads there's a, a seal eating the gear eating at the gear out here can mm-hmm. he come out and dispose of it like mm-hmm. so it just it's a wasted waste it that doesn't apply to us and even if you try to fill it out for a fisherman mm-hmm. you can't do it it's only designed for deers and other things like that because uh-huh. if you've seen the farm you have to look at the farm and the questions yeah. they ask you it, it's impossible to fill it out right right so that's so that management tool is useless for you. yeah because the words they the question you could, they use the wrong words say for the, the language is all wrong for mm-hmm. us. Like. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Okay, can you lay it out then? What what problems do you see? Like what what sort of damage and what problems do you see that, that seals are causing? It's just for, for people who think that the seals are only lying on the beach and they're looking pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's just take Dingle, for example. It's happening all over the coast, I know, but just take our place. Um, no one's at Whitefish. 
So no one's catching Cod, no one's catching Pollock, no one's catching Haddock, Whiting, Ling. You know, no one's targeting the species. There's, and everyone thinks there's trawlers that are overfishing. Like we're talking about inshore boats. They're day boats. They go in and out, in and out every day. Mm-hmm. Like they don't do much damage. You wouldn't catch enough to do damage to the ecosystem in one day. Mm-hmm. And you have so much things like... If you got a hundred days fishing in a year, you'll be doing well in the boats we fish in. Like mm-hmm. there's bigger boats, all right, they go out fishing, they might do some do five days, some do ten days. Mm-hmm. Um but they're different. They're going two hundred miles off, they're going eighty miles off. Like, you know, they're mm-hmm. that's a different region completely. Mm-hmm. And I've been on those big boats and I've been two hundred miles out at the park of my bank and I've seen seals coming up eating at bags off the mm-hmm. trawlers like. Um, but what our what we what inshore fleet are doing is just you might have only a couple of nets, or else you would have your jig machines, the mm-hmm. automatic rods, mm-hmm. and that's basically it. And no one's and you have, might go at tangle nets, but no one does that anymore because you're just wasting your time. You're wasting fuel. You're doing damn like the amount. Even if you get fish, and the fish in the net, the amount of damage the seal does to it. N- never mind being on the peaky ground where you get pollock, but never mind when the fish is in the net, the seal does so much damage to that net, it's just wrote off if there's fish already in it because they just tear holes all the way along it and it's mm-hmm. no good. And that's not, they're not cheap, like, you know. Mm-hmm. And another factor, when you have hooks, when you have the jigging machine, sometimes you have three machines and then the front machine might go off. And you take in the fish or whatever, and then you're racing back to the next one. And it happened to me one time that I was taking in the back one, and you might have a trace. There might be six hooks on the trace, and the fish be on the last one. I was pulling in to get the last one up, mm-hmm. and a seal literally came up, and he snapped it. And the top hook of the trace went through the top of my thumb there mm-hmm. and out through the nail. Like, and people don't realize the danger of all this. Like, and even it's just it's crazy how they let something get so out of control because of money and just greed and they say fishermen agree it's not it's mm-hmm. the people in power that are the greed is there like we just went about and fished there's like the minority of people that are fishing now is you have a very big age gap and there's very few young people coming through and like yeah. like farming and fishing is ireland's only like that's what they what we started with basically mm-hmm. mm. And now when you hear the news and everything, all you hear is agriculture, agriculture, minister for agriculture. Where, where's the minister for fisheries? We're on the oh, same. That's a, that's, a, that's a point that, that Ireland is a, as an island. It's a marine nation and we have no ministry of marine. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, like, well, how... It's all wrapped into one, no, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, all in one, but all you hear is agriculture. Like, yeah. where's the marine? Well, that's a, well, that's the point, right? That, like, to me... Uh, like you know i don't know i know anything right i'm just just a foreigner speaking with funny <laughs> accent right but but like logically if you're an island you would have ministry of marine as a separate major thing because if you're if you measure that right whatever way you measure it's probably bigger than agriculture which is limited only to land mass yeah and yet we don't have that so that's a par- partially that problem i yeah. I, I, I i presume and our area C is four times larger than land. Oh, there we go. Mm. So that's a that's a stat that was missing. That's a, that's <laughs> yeah, a stat yeah. that was missing. Um, so that's, that's so how so so you know I have so many questions in my head that I don't even know where 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 to where to begin. Um, so why why you think because I I presume maybe that maybe I I ask that question. What. What you guys like as a, as a fishing community, what you've done to notify somebody because we know we have no Ministry of Marine, but I, I presume like, well, like, okay, we have a pro we have a problem, right? We have a we have these these protected animal, but there are that this is this is what I'm taking from you. So if I'm if if I'm putting anything wrong, then correct me, right? Yeah. Interrupt me, correct. But I mean, like, we have this protected animal, right? uh they were protected for a reason all good fine we don't want to wipe them out we don't want them gone but there are pockets places where they are overabundant and they are creating various problems now one would think that people like you guys who are day in day out working you know seeing that thing can notify somebody in the government in this ministry of agriculture whatever it is raise the problem 
and the problem will be dealt with one way or another, whether through the call of seal or whether through compensation or whatever, whatever the solution would be. Right. So I presume you tried that. Yeah. I got on to um, the, uh, Michael Creed last year or two years ago, and he told me it was a problem for um, the Celtic heritage and culture, oh. that department. Seals are under, the, um, that parks and wildlife are under, parks and wildlife mind the seals, parks and wildlife are under Celtic heritage and culture, right. that department. Now so they're in the Department of Housing, I heard. <laughs> Yeah, but she, they just keep mixing up the departments. And anyway, yeah. I got, um, we had a meeting there last around Christmas time with um, Parks and Wildlife mm -hmm. that are looking after the seals. And they said, oh, we'll talk to you and try and help you with your problem and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But we've heard all this before. A few years ago, um, the Marine Institute came out with um, droppers you put into the, the water and mm -hmm. it's supposed to scare the seals away. Mm -hmm. It worked for maybe 48 hours. After that, it was like a dinner bell. It was like calling the seals coming <laughs> under the boat. Like. Because they're intelligent. They're yeah. not dumb. Yeah, yeah. Right? They're not dumb. They, 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 so they figured out what's up. Yeah, they knew the minute they heard the, the, the ping. They were just like, ah, dinner lads, come on, let's go. <laughs> but like same thing, you clutch in hydraulics. And people say, why don't you try different fishing methods? methods? <clears throat> like we only let the net soak for half an hour. And we pull, they barely touch the bottom and they come up again. And if we have nothing, we have nothing. But you do sometimes get lucky in that half an hour and they still get it out of the gear. Like it's just relentless mm -hmm. and you could be jigging. And when you're jigging, you can bounce from peak to peak to peak and mm -hmm. just try different things. But they'll, if you don't have a fast boat, they'll keep up with you and they'll follow you all day long mm -hmm. relentlessly. And they'll actually draw more into it. There's 15 following me one day. You could just see them all just playing with each other behind the boat, just following it. So, so essentially, you you can't haul any fish on the boat because they're all being taken by a seal. Is is, is that effectively what's happening? Yeah, that's what's happening. And people say, why don't you fish somewhere else? But like, <laughs> fish only live in certain areas. Like, you know, it's just yeah, that's re that's regulated <laughs> as well. Yeah. So, and actually, if you the fish now is starting to get worms in them around the close to say if you're on a big niche there if you get any, you, sometimes you do get a fish with worms yeah in it just happening yeah. yeah and why yeah. is that like that was never the case before mm -hmm. there was a friend of mine there he was jigging out of um out of Menard yeah um and all the mackerel and pollock had all worms in them I had pictures of it actually yeah I, yeah I sent them on to you Tommy just pictures like of just worms in the in the flesh and yeah do you know he he texted me and yeah. sent me the picture and um on a on a on an upside i can tell you that those worms are 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 okay you can eat them <laughs> i don't, don't eat, care I don't eat even them. even <laughs> even if they're alive now hear hear me out because i i heard about this even if they're alive what they're gonna do they will drill the hole in your intestines yeah and go out and they will die there so you're okay <laughs> 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 but no it's just something strange you know you never i've never seen it before until yeah later. yeah 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 okay so so essentially you you guys are going nowhere so you tried like an official route uh to raise that issue that is affecting economy because i presume that's that's affecting economy of the region as well well it is and it, see everyone's diverse to shellfish like in mm -hmm. our area and i suppose all around the country really but that's what we're banking on and that's what we're targeting at the moment, but you can't keep targeting one species and expect to get away with it. Like you have to, mm -hmm. it, every, everyone, certain periods of year, you always t target something because you know it's going to be good. It's going to be at its prime level mm -hmm. in that season, whatever. Um, but every, it's just, we don't bother with fish anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's just, we're wasting our time. And like, I've been onto the, um, parks and wildlife i've keep ringing them and they're completely ignoring me now and it's like lads and i have the tds and i have counselors and mm -hmm. i have all that on the case but i'm just fighting a brick wall at this stage. it is a thing but how how are you doing that alone because i presume there there is some some organization of, of like a fisherman organization or but whatever. there's too many fishing organizations is the problem ah you have flags the you have bim you have nif riff like uh -huh. And then what they do is 
the government gives money to one gang. Uh-huh. So the small the other gangs are fighting with the other gang and then there's a big Yeah. Uh-huh. So there's not all it doesn't all come into one. Like if you put everyone into the one room, uh-huh. it'd be fair, but it's kind of being gotcha. the big boys and the small boys against each so, other. So so what you're saying is that some some fishing organizations are actually getting compensated. Well, but not all of them. Well, it's like I don't know about organizations. They they say, "Oh, you get this, or you get that." I look to be honest. I don't know the ins and outs of those things, and uh-huh. I. It's just, I know we're just in a small fleet at the moment, and we just try to go out. We don't care about these mm-hmm. organizations because. Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering, is that is that not the the way to address the problem? Because obviously, like if you're doing that yourself, or you or you just you know representing like a small community a fishing community uh, and you go to the you know big guys in in dublin then of course they they will ignore you always say oh yeah tomorrow right but if all fishermen would organize and kind of represent because th- this is again this is not new problem that was discussed many times that there's so many organizations like even if you talk about hunting organizations and and in ireland we there's this for us far as I'm, as I'm concerned mm. yeah. and then you know how you can do anything uh coherent and represent like there's no one voice for hunters because there's like this this organization and this association and mm. this commission and this you know yeah, something yeah. something else so so there's <clears throat> no 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 one voice and then when you try to do something like for example i'm, I'm coming back to deer because it's, it's kind of something that i i'm kind of comfortable talking um if you're talking, for example, a deer census or something like that, there's there's no one voice that can put the pressure on the government. Would you say that this is like this is the case? If you that that you just don't have like a critical mass to put the pressure on the government, it's like, hey, there is a problem for fishing community. We need to address that problem in a way, even if providing different provisions for section 42 and you know do yeah. section 43 or whatever 42b or whatever else that will help you alleviate the problem in a way yeah but see the there is groups and they have brought it forward in fairness and everything mm-hmm. but see, the fishing community is so small and so nearly to extinction mm. why, why would you care the the other this the other side the people that love to see they have too much power they have too much money they have too much backing really yeah you would see the backlash if you put a comment on say i call us here how many people are going to give out you? How could you do that to an animal and everything like that? Mm-hmm. But yet, how many people are commenting this and say they're vegan? Mm-hmm. That's if you took a ratio, like mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. yeah. But you know, is it not like you know the perception of that might be a little bit you know skewed because like social media and like you know it's like what's happening on social media and every people who are you know, very vocal on Facebooks and Twitters and and the likes um, that that not translate necessarily into the policies, right? Because if if that was translating to the policies, we we would probably have a better state of of, uh, wildlife and better state of environment in Ireland and all that. It doesn't translate. So I, I, I'm surprised that you're saying that these groups are so powerful, and, and especially surprised that you're that you reckon they're more powerful than the fishing community. But the fishing community is tiny. Hmm. You know, it's very very small. Um, it's uh, how many people do you reckon are fishing in Ireland? Do you, if you, if I was to ask you how many people do you think are actually commercial fishermen in Ireland, what would you say? I have no idea, but but I guess there is a there is a distinction between like a local. Um, local communities fishing pe- people who are fishing there you know like your your father was fishing his father was fishing mm-hmm. yeah. these are different type I, I presume these are different type of fishermen than you know super trawler under the would there be about uh, ten thousand, i'd say would there lithuanian flag not, not not even even there. how not. many ten to- but there's a big difference between the inshore but even if you oh, took, that's a difference I was talking about. The yeah. Usher and there's, yeah. no, there's not that many big boats in Ireland anymore. Like they're mm-hmm. all been. T- what you see landing is all French and Spanish. Mm-hmm. Like the French have fifty percent of the monk quota in Irish waters, mm-hmm. and that's offshore. That's mm-hmm. all offshore. But, like they come into twelve miles. Yeah. What you count as offshore? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I go twenty-two miles off in a thirty-three foot boat because I have to. Yeah. yeah. Um, Whoa, dude! So it's not a twenty-three foot boat. 33 33 yeah 
Oh. It's less than 10 meters. Yeah, you know? <laughs> do you know? And you can't, you have to do it like, because it's just, you just nothing. Do you see in Ireland, we care more about farming mm-hmm. than fishing. Oh, that's, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. That's, that's, it's that's a huge, huge like, thing yeah. because it's like, people don't really care about fishing and we're an island nation. And, mm. and I think it was in the seventies we sold out our rights, wasn't yeah. it? Something like that. And, yeah. and like you're saying, and, and and I do think Liam has a point where I think social media does mm-hmm. actually sway mm-hmm. people's opinion. Yes, on no things. doubt. 100%. Mm-hmm. I think this is a toxic subject. And the reason how this whole thing came about was that I suppose I'd be adamant on, against draft nets for, for salmon. Mm-hmm. And it came about because I listened to a trawler man mm-hmm. on the phone. Mm-hmm. And, and the minute I put a post out, the amount of traffic that was went yeah. on the post was phenomenal mm-hmm. and i said there's something here yeah. there's something to be talked about here yeah it was crazy the amount of people that went like crazy over me mm-hmm. just siding with a taller man like saying yeah there's something up here like mm-hmm. and um i got fo- I got i think the next day i got about 20 phone calls mm-hmm. not messages actual phone calls mm-hmm. from people all over the country mm-hmm. i got phone calls from the people in the fishery board i got phone calls from the people in the national wildlife mm-hmm. parks two 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 of them um the slaney the Moy, huge problem with seals mm-hmm. and in dingle they mm-hmm. are your three hot spots uh one one of them told me there's 700 seals in the slaney mm-hmm. a prolific salmon river one time and now it's, it's closed mm-hmm. and he told me that when he was young the maximum would be 25 to 50 seals. The same in the Moy, in Balana, probably Europe's, probably, well, definitely Ireland's greatest salmon river. Mm-hmm. And in, between, like, Scotland and Ireland, it's, it's, and he told me the amount of seals. Now, I'm not an expert on this, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, like, he stayed, and he was very, and especially the, the lad from Dingle that rang me, John, what, when they were talking to me, I said, there's something here, like, there's definitely yeah. something here. Yeah. And I and the way John was describing, and the lads sent me videos, and I'm thinking these fellas are going out on the, on the boat, like, mm-hmm. trying to make a living, mm-hmm. and this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. And I do, too, do think, like, that these people out there mm-hmm. that look at seals mm-hmm. and see this fluffy little animal on the beach, mm-hmm. they don't understand that there's a human aspect to this, that there's actually people trying to make a living. Yeah. Do you know what? They actually think that the animal is more important. Yeah, but you, you see, like, and here's an important distinction. Like, I don't, I don't mind and I don't care about people who are completely disconnected from reality on Facebook. Mm. And they're, right, I see that all the time. You can, you can hear the discussions about uh, uh, trophy hunting, for example, and all that. That's that's just a given right people want to be angry people wants to be outraged about stuff and and that's that's how it that's how we roll now the problem is when this actually translates also to the government and the making of the policy or mm. or because like yeah i'm like you're saying you guys are stuck yeah you're you're like what's 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 the choice i don't know see i try to base things like in pull, Norway, pull that thing closer to the sorry. Table. In Norway, they have a very good quality of lifestyle. They reckon, in a way, mm-hmm. I wouldn't know, but they said they have the best quality of lifestyle. But in Norway, they have they're not owned by the EU. They do have eight thousand seals. They estimate and along mm-hmm. their coastline, they do call them every year. Mm-hmm. They might say they don't, but they do. They give out permits in certain beaches and everything like that. They can take out maybe fifty on this beach, a hundred in that beach. Oh, the podcast before this one is uh, I talked with with uh, Andres uh, from Sweden, mm. and we discuss in great detail how they're hunting seals. They're they're actually uh, issuing permits for recreational hunters. Are they doing that now in Sweden? Because yeah. Before, I said it's recent. It's, it's recent. Yeah. It's recent, but we like this is a, this is episode just, just uh, for folks who are listening to this is like previous episode two weeks earlier okay. from this episode. Uh, the, the recreational hunters that are getting over counter tag, and they they go and hunt seal. Yes. Um, Same in Scotland. I think. Well, not they don't hunt them, yeah. but there is a call in Scotland. There is around seven farms. Yeah. Yes. See, because the 
it's all to do with money again because mm-hmm. there's so much money being pumped into salmon farms yeah. and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they need to. Effect, yeah. I talk to the people. There's guys in America, the um, natives, mm-hmm. and they're allowed cull seals over there, and they're actually trying to get people over to help them cull because there's such an uh, enormity of seals and they just cannot control them by themselves mm-hmm. and they sell their fur and everything like that and the rest i don't know what to do with the mm-hmm. rest but the- i just wondering like i don't know if you can answer that but i'm 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 wondering if if the seals are so abundant how they how are they being controlled in a in a like a healthy ecosystem let's say like do they have natural predators sharks or not or- in ireland <laughs> not in ireland right. no. no so how so th- this is like but even still, before, when the Baskin sharks used to come around the islands and everything, the seals would disappear. Mm-hmm. No, they don't. They just, yeah, you're only a Baskin shark. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they just yeah. don't care anymore. Like, yeah. Well, there would have been a poor beagle shark and the different types of sharks like that, six gill sharks in Ireland. Yes. You know, I know I don't know that they, they used to feed on seals. Oh, that's the six gill would feed on dead seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're they're not they're not actively pursuing. They're slow yeah. moving bottom bottom feeding. Yeah. This, there's that they're data deficient really. Yeah. But there's this six gill is not a shark that would chase anything. Yeah. Um, poor beagle and they're perhaps too small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The seal be bigger than the poor beagle. Yeah, like he's yeah, like yeah. a big bull yeah. gray seal would be. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. But you see, here's here's the here's the deal. Like the con- control of the numbers can be happening on the on the before they you know like yeah granted like like with pigs right like mm. a big boar like yeah. a big boar will challenge even a tiger if they're in, mm. in, in yeah. india right but the little pigs and then and, and, you know they're, they're easily picked mm. out by by predators so I, mm. i'm just i'm just wondering because um and this is uh why it's so unfortunate that there is so so like you said that, 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 that there's a hot button topic and it is like mm. hard to get people um, talking about they it, they don't want to touch it. You see, Tommy, like the, polit- the politicians, if it there's such in Ireland at the moment, this is what I believe. People know my opinion on this. The people in power are literally completely controlled of what people think. Mm-hmm. Now, here's a man that's trying to make a living mm-hmm. in Dingle and mm-hmm. he can't because of seals. Mm-hmm. But the fact that if a call is authorized, say, and he can go and call. They, they won't do it because the people there'll be uproar. There's yeah. if you mention it on, on social media. Well, if you have to look at the post on my page, there's actual. There's it's like oh, like the, yeah. like just just this this uh, this spring when it was a call of deer in Killarney. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, people yeah. were like, oh my god. But what's more important, the the, the deer yeah. or people driving in their cars? People, people are. Oh, but this yeah. is even for like a deer is even for for health of the herd. There's yeah. too many deers. Their yeah. their their get their their body size getting smaller and they're running in the risk of hybridizing with seekers. Yeah, like the whole deal with red deers, like you you're not allowed to uh, hunt red deer and carry because they're 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 they're, they're like a native. Mm. Irish deer, right? There's a separate discussion about that whether they're yeah, native yeah. or not, but that's why you can't shoot red deer in carry right and the reason they're they're not high because you also have a, a red deer in wicklow mm. but the problem with wicklow is that they're heavily hybridized with sika so they're all you know red deer is like red deer with sika and all the sika deer is sika but with red deer yeah in carry population of sika deer is actually genetically important globally because they're pure sika as they are in japan mm. And red deer are pure Irish red deer. Yeah, native. Yeah. yeah. They're not hybridized. Why yeah. they're not hybridized? Because the difference of the body size. Yeah. Now the problem with Killarney is like because there's so many deer, they don't have enough resources to eat, and the body size of red deer starts to getting smaller because they're not there's not yeah. nutrient, right. Yeah. If they're getting smaller, they're running into risk of hybridizing with Sika. Yeah. And so that call is not even based on somebody thinking that the deer is nice and fluffy. It's it's you know important from to maintaining the the, the genetic importance of the herd. Yeah. Still, there is an uproar of, about that, right? Yeah. But we have we we have calls. Calls, right? yeah, yeah. We have we calls. So so I am I am wondering, you know. 
like what's a what's a what's the out of this situation because i presume that you know we have this conversation before we hit the record button and you 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 just extremely frustrated which i'm i'm like i understand yeah all i want because you you're hitting like a brick wall right mm-hmm. at the moment but it'd be it'd be fine if they came out and told us we have a management plan put in place but the problem is they say we can't count them it's just yeah. put, there's too many there i just said look come back the next bad storms give it give it four nine tens and go drive back to slayhead and look at that beach you won't see a speck of sand and you'll see seals fighting trying to get onto that beach and they won't make it up like there is just thousands upon thousands of them just in the Kerry area alone never mind go up to galway donegal around to Hoth in dublin do you know so the alone. five thousand is definitely not not it, true i'm not it's, oh, it's 5,000 in Kerry. <laughs> yeah, but I read something online where they said there was 5,000 all over Ireland. I'd like, they'd say that because they know if they put the number high, that mm. something has to be done. That Everything is doctored and everything like that. You can't. They can't say there's 1,800 seals in the Blaskets because there's more. That just It's just... Mm. Cr- that's It doesn't even come close to what's in the, the Blaskets. And yeah. the fact that they move up and down from... The pharaohs down to France and they stop in Ireland and everything. That's new for me. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They've tracked them and this is this is why it's so mm-hmm. great to have mm-hmm. a guy like me yeah. who knows that stuff. It's just, you know, it's not fair to say like we can't shoot him because he's a, a French seal or a mm-hmm. pharaoh seal or a Norwegian seal and mm-hmm. it like we'll have to do something or else everyone just stop fishing. Mm. that's fine if you don't fish you just get it from Spain or whatever or just let the French or so if you go into a restaurant in Dingle this evening yeah how much of the fish will be from Dingle um, well a good a, 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 the majority would be from actually yeah. from Dingle because we have um, two gill netters a big uh, there's a prawn trawler there mm. and we have two smaller trawlers that would have your prime your turban stuff like that yeah but they're just they're just trawlers and just two gill netters but Apart from that, the inshore boats are just shellfish. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you order lobster or crayfish or a crab, yeah, there that's the inshore fleet. So you know what you're kind of getting. Mm. If you order hake, it's probably from one of the gillnetters. If you mm. order monk, it's probably from one of the trawlers mm. mm-hmm. or a dory or anything. Mo- the majority of the fish is actually caught in dingle, but the amount of fish that's landed in dingle that goes out that has nothing to do with the Irish revenue mm-hmm. is actually shocking. Do you know, you have trucks every single Friday. Mm, I see if, them, if, yeah. if anyone comes back, you can come back on a Friday morning and you see all the trucks going out to Spain and France. Huh. Mm. And like you can say, oh, this, if you stopped in, but no, it's not. They don't affect the inshore fishing too much. They probably have an effect in some slight bit, but mm-hmm. the seals are what destroy the, the small community of fishermen, the, the day boats and everything like that. And they're the people that really don't affect... Mm-hmm. the environment too much of the least yes. um but saying that there's not too many big boats in ireland to affect the environment anyway because mm-hmm. it's for an island nation there's not many trawlers mm-hmm. and there's not many and, big and boats you, is, you see and this is this is the, that point like it's it's fascinating how this goes comes around in the circles because like once again what you're what you're saying is exactly the position of for example uh Irish Wildlife Trust, what I get, and and you know, if I say Irish Wildlife Trust, you might say like, oh, the, these fuckers, right? Mm. But they're actually saying like, why don't we put emphasis on the local sustainable fisheries, Irish fisheries? They all say that, man. Hey, they do. They, they do, yeah. But they, like, this, they do. This is the proof here. Yeah, and, you know? and not not kick out the the yeah. like you say, like a French, French, and and Spanish, like a big yeah. trawlers who are massive, like a bottom trawling, like a massive damage yeah. to the environment, and, and and like in a in a uh, like a general uh, public, right? It's like oh, fishermen, they're all one, like one fi- like fishermen, right? Mm. There's like different types of fishermen, like like yeah. what, what you're saying. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Have you have you tried anywhere else? Like, where where did you try to to uh, raise that problem? I uh, local TDs and mm-hmm. you know just. Have you spoke to the one to the likes of Irish Wildlife Trust or 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 any organi- like environmental organizations? The only pa- people like that be Parks and Wildlife. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't know where to go. Well, like they're kind of in charge of the seal, so they kind of have to say, "Look, lads, we have too many." Yeah, uh, but I mean, like somebody. 
needs to put the pressure on them but because clearly they're not going to do but anything they're not going to do anything anyway i don't know we're they going can't to have to i don't think they actually can but i just have yeah. waiting for a seal to bite a child someday yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what's going to happen they are starving and i'm not exaggerating like you know this is oh, oh so this is like thanks for that because this is what i was going to ask you um so you see the impact like because if the animal becomes overpopulated then quickly things getting ugly for that animal as well right so do you see any any uh you know do you have any observations of actually where the population of seals starts to have a problem because there's too many of them they're right? starving or something yeah well, like i are they going to get a disease i don't know like it's just it's hard to tell because i said they're interbreeding but how are they interbreeding if they're traveling if it's a different seal all the time coming in or anything like that like so i can't see that happening either the only thing that stops seals is natural um natural predators and natural predators in ireland and it's not nice to say but it is man mm-hmm. so, yeah and i have no problem being but people do have a problem <laughs> and it'd be lovely to say uh we just take out a hundred this month or maybe a hundred mm-hmm. next month or yeah but it has to be a thousands no we're not talking mm-hmm. hundreds anymore we're talking thousands mm-hmm. and uh it's it is what it is we're not going ahead there's no one white fishing do you know we don't catch the white fish anymore and you can see if you go out an angling boat a charter boat for the day what yeah. you're going to get a few mackerel yeah you might get the odd pollock you're not going to get mm-hmm. the big big ones like you know mm-hmm. then uh, you reckon this is the impact of seals 100 percent. it's not in but seals like do you know would, 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 would they impact the population of bass when no one fishes bass anymore mm. it's illegal oh mm. i know but i'm I'm, ta- I'm talking now from the perspective of a recreational like if, if angler you're, you're at rod fish do you yeah. see an increase of bass do you see an increase of salmon no bass is like like there's there's you know i had again i had an episode of the podcast with with uh, uh what's his name ryan Dermot Ryan from mm. from fishery and we had that conversation from Inland Fisheries Ireland. Dermot Ryan, very nice guy, and mm. and and he's also a recreational angler. Uh, and we were talking about like how, what's what's going on with bass, mm. um, and and you know he's he's his view is on you know he was talking about how they have a reproductive cycle and where's a less and more depending on the. You know, like you have a one better winter and a one worse winter, then this kind of over the years gets reflected in a in a in a recruitment in the stocks of, of the fish that the recreational anglers are catching. And and my my reply to him was like, you know, I feel like we're looking at, at the collapse of the stocks. Of bass. Bass. Yeah. And we just you know, we just don't want to admit it. We just want to be optimistic and we're just finding this uh you know oh because it was like a winter and there was like storm and there was something and it was something but like year after year like even you know i'm in ireland 13 years right mm. and i i started fishing for for bass in 2007 yeah right so even in the short time span like i am in ireland as, a, as an immigrant right there's a there's a much harder to catch bass right now on mm. with a rod and line than it was in 2007 and it was in 2008 mm. but you allow fishermen in 2007. Commercially, you are. But, mm. Well, I know that then. I can't remember exactly, but... I don't think they were. They were I think that the bass is for, for, for years and years. It's, it's not, a long time. The bass is mm. a long, long time. Yeah. And when's the salmon? Then? I can't. See, the I, salmon was was roughly around that. You're probably getting the two mixed up. The bass was in the 90s, I think. Mm-hmm. Was it? They yes. stopped, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and but even still, they're, they're, they're that long not commercially fished, and yeah. you say it's got worse now. Yeah. Mm. There's only one problem, and you can't say it's the environment because and everything like that because it'd have to affect every fish mm-hmm. yeah and every fish isn't being affected it's mm. just like you said bass mm-hmm. is there a salmon increase lately this year yeah but this is the only year yeah and i was reading the report on that there lately that um the drift netting was gone i think it was 2007 2006 and um one it was salmon watch ireland actually mm-hmm. they, they don't know this year has been the biggest run yeah in a long long but time I c- just think about we had the driest mm. April, May that we've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, that's very true too. So true. the rivers went dry, so how are they going to go up? It? Yeah, that's very, very true. Mm-hmm. 
I, I really do think that this problem is much more than seals. <laughs> I mm-hmm. don't know if you agree with me here. Like, oh, yeah, I do. I, I think it's much more than seals or, or, or fish stocks or, or anything like that. I think it's, it's, it's like, and the reason why I kind of wanted to do this is because it's kind of hard for me to word it, but we have a trawler man here and I've been talking to loads of them. Mm-hmm. And they're basically, they're pulling their hair out mm-hmm. because we have a problem with seals. Mm-hmm. And the f- oh, you know, you can argue we have a problem with yeah. deer. Yeah, we yeah. have a problem with badger. We have a problem. Like, and, and the, by problem, like, yeah. to me, that problem is that we don't have anyone who... Who can control it. Yeah, who gives yeah. a shit yeah, yeah. about it, right? Yeah. Because like, like to me, like uh, National Parks and Wildlife Service... Which is well, like, I which, had is, one. which is like, like you said, they're, 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 they're taking care of a seal, right? They're taking care of a deer, they're taking care of all the animals, right? Mm. And they're being pushed around, like I said, what, what department, what they were before? Uh, mm-hmm. Celtic Heritage. Heritage, mm-hmm. right? Sure. Now they're, I, I'm being told they're, they're housing department. Yeah. So it's clearly like, a, it's not even, you know, second uh, class citizen it's mm. a third or fourth class citizen in a government yeah and, and and if you look in general at the environment in Ireland there's all over the place the peatlands the the emissions this, this and that and something else right and this is to me this is one problem this is this is one problem that nobody takes care about the environment and looks like okay well how many animals like I'm saying like what would you do right if I if I would you know be a minister or something like the first thing is like how many animals we have mm. it's the first thing mm. census how many deer we have how many badgers we have how many seals we have how many foxes we have how many you know birds of prey we have yeah sort of a ballpark okay now once you know how many animals you have you know what's the population density mm. now you can talk about management yeah now you can say like okay these are protected these mm. are not protected, you know. Yeah. But Tommy, I think we're going down down the road of no more fishing, no more hunting, no more nothing. That's the road we're going down. There's a deeper thing to all this. In in England at the moment, no angling. Angling with a rod and line is classed as a blood sport. Mm-hmm. That's what it's classed as. It's a blood sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and like this man can't. They can't call seals, right? Mm-hmm. Tommy, in ten years, you won't be able to shoot a deer here. Mm-hmm. In, in 20 years, we will not be able to catch a fish on a rod and line. Maybe, maybe I'm, not. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that's the way it's going. Mm-hmm. There's, I think in Ireland at the moment, there's nearly 60 to 70 salmon sea trout rivers closed. Mm-hmm. Can't even fish them. Mm-hmm. In, our, in Ker- Kerry is probably the biggest county in Ireland for salmon fishing. Mm-hmm. Most rivers are closed. Mm-hmm. Back west, the only one that's open is catch release on a score. Mm-hmm. The rest of them are all closed. Mm-hmm. That's it. and there's such there's so much more to this, mm-hmm. and it, it's going on all around the world mm-hmm. where you have this kind of liberal agenda, mm-hmm. where nothing like it's like the environment is more important than us. Mm-hmm. The environment is more important, and it is important. It's very very important, but if people can't make a living, man, come on, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? I got seen videos. I got some videos from the National Wildlife Park Service, two of them in Ballina and Slaney. Mm-hmm. They can't touch the seals. Mm-hmm. And they, yeah, said, yeah, they, they, they can't touch them. And the, and the thing about it was, it wasn't always that way. These rivers at the moment, are, they're not even meeting their, their conservation room for salmon. Mm-hmm. And and I think one of the, he told me the, the amount, I think it was Liam said, but another person told me, no, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it's a fact that one, one adult seal is a 1.5 tons per year of fish they eat. Mm-hmm. But I think you said there's a lot more than that. It has to be. That's yeah. what they'd survive on, maybe. Yeah. But like what they could eat. I've seen him eating 300 kilos in one sitting. Like, yeah. Well, like there was, maybe there was two or three seals eating the one. It'd be yeah. a net. Like, and there's yeah. only two or three around it. You might have 200 kilos to 300 kilos. Yeah. yeah. And they'd devour that. So they're 100 kilos each. And yeah. yeah. In the space of half an hour. That's only half an hour, like. Mm-hmm. So. And he, he, another fellow rang me and he said that they prefer the picky, mm-hmm. the seals are picky. So, for example, the Slaney, which was once one of the best salmon, it was one of the best salmon rivers in the country. Mm-hmm. There are 700 seals in the estuary, mm-hmm. right? And take all that, the, 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 they want salmon, yeah. for example. Yeah. So, at the moment, it's closed. You can't fish for salmon, and they're wondering why the problem is. Where's the problem? 
but there's 700 seals in the estuary. In Ballina, yeah. the moy is the exact same. Every year, the salmon have fallen. Mm-hmm. They're falling, the numbers have fallen. There's no more drift netting. Can't be that. Mm-hmm. There's no draft netting in the Ballina. Mm-hmm. So what else is it? There's another couple of hundred seals in the estuary there. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's the same, the same black in the blaskets and things like that. I mean, I got sent videos. The lads sent me videos of them hauling in just hooks with just heads in them, man. That's mm-hmm. like... That's a sin, like it's. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? To go out to drive a boat out from Dingle Harbour, and to and to set nets and to put out hooks and for that to happen, mm-hmm. that's a sin. It should not be allowed. Do you know what I mean? And the thing about it is, these people don't have anyone to talk from. Do you know they don't have anyone to to stand up in government and say right, this has to stop. Probably the only one is Michael Healy Ray. The rest won't even touch it. Mm-hmm. They won't even touch it because it's a top yeah. subject. And people, but the, you know, Healy Ray will be ridiculed anyway. Yeah, you know? and they'll get a backlash online that's frightening. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I put up one post where I sided with a tournament, and the backlash I got you at this, the hate mail, the messages, the mm-hmm. emails. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You're a, you're you're um, a Nazi. You're a, a, a Satan, all this kind of crack. Just because... You are a Satan. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. the thing about it is, there's so much more to this than seals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but say, they say, why don't you get a different job, right? And all these people, and I you know what I mean. Yeah, I that's did true, a, yeah. I did a different job. I did have a good job. Mm-hmm. But I used to press the back inside there, mm-hmm. inside and land all the time. Like, I mm-hmm. was working doing a distillery. Mm-hmm. And I just... Not yeah. that I didn't like the job, but I just wasn't happy, like, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was just getting more down and down as days went on. And then I just said, I have to leave. I just go back fishing again. Like, yeah. that's where, even if I make nothing, I'm kind of happier there anyway. Like, mm. but, oh my God, the seals are just relentless. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's some day, I told the man in the parks and why, there's some day I could just snap and I could just lose my mind and I'll go back to that island and I'll just go swinging with a golf club yeah. someday like mm-hmm. oh you can't do that and I go why not I've none to live for anyway yeah. Yeah. you know that kind of way yeah. like yeah. Yeah. my mind is totally gone and I haven't heard from him since and I'm trying to get him yeah. to answer that bloody phone and he will not answer it mm. yeah. and they're cute enough they didn't give me the email address either or else mm. I'd have a full mm. um, yeah. list and that's going on all over the, all over the country I've had people from Donegal all over saying the exact mm-hmm. same thing what Liam just said. Mm-hmm. Do you it's, know what I mean? It's not just a carry case. Yeah. It's just, it's yeah. widely out of control. Like, it's frightening. Like, yeah, I, I, I wonder, I wonder, and like anyone who listens to that conversation, uh, I, I welcome all the messages and all the um, feedback. Mm. Also, if anyone feels like uh, it would be constructive to send a hate mail, I, <laughs> I, 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 I welcome those as well. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting to read some of them they're just so <laughs> daft yeah, at times I mean, like, like there's, these are, they're just goofs get rid of the super trawlers they'll yeah. fix all the problems that no they won't well y- well you know I would I would get rid of the super trawlers I would too but like the, the, yeah they're they're not, you know one doesn't you know that's like one that's one that's one side of the story um I, I would and, and maybe you know again appeal here that I I really would love to um talk with scientists with environmental scientists with anyone who could you know and that's a thought maybe we need like a private independent seal count but you know like a sort of sort of like a but that can't happen because that costs money Oh yeah, but let me, I mean, like, look, we we put the fundraiser on the page of Tommy's Outdoor Space or something, you know. Like, I, I'm I'm saying, like, if you have if you have someone who would do the who would do the seal count, right, and have a certain amount of kudos behind him, right, being a scientist or being institute yeah, or yeah. something, the money would we we would find money. Like, money will will you know? I don't think that's is that's a big problem. Like. Who is that, you know, person who you can hire and say like, hey, here's an independent expert yeah. or independent experts. They run a, you know, six months, four months, 12 months program to count seals, mm. right? These are the results. But now, they have all these results, but mm. anytime they get do they? results, they, they do, document, yeah. they doctor the results. They're not... Yeah accurate 5,000 yeah. for that, Ireland yeah. and that's what's in Kerry yeah, alone yeah. well just in the blaskets I reckon yeah. anyway mm-hmm. that's the actual figure that's the actual figure I don't know is it from the Wildlife Trust or someone like that 5,000 seals in Ireland mm-hmm. and well I was told 1,800 on the blasket but 
Laskets isn't the biggest island. I think it's in Ishtark in above. Mm-hmm. I think I'm not too sure, but I I know Laskets isn't the biggest one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they said there's eighteen hundred on that. I was like, you're lying, lads. That's a lot, though, isn't it? In my yeah. head, that's a lot. Like, we'll just think. Eight, York, no, and I believe that there's probably more, but I'm thinking that's an awful we'll lot. Well, just like, think if they said yeah. just what you heard, but it's yeah, not. I don't know what they said. They'd say hundred kilos a day. Yeah. And you have 18,000 seals. Mm-hmm. That's... Doing the maths. Add the zeros. Add the zeros. That's <laughs> yeah. 18 tonne of fish more. Yeah. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. They See, need... Think how fat a seal is mm-hmm. and how much you need to keep that fat there. Like, think yeah. about how much we eat and how mm-hmm. much... Then they, We're not that... We're not that well insulated. Mm-hmm. So they'd have to eat four times what we eat to be that mm-hmm. insulated. Mm-hmm. And that'll give you a rough idea how much how much they would eat like so yeah. you're taking 18 ton of fish a day i did the maths i haven't wish them hit me i proved to them even on their figures you're taking a colossal amount of fish out of the water mm. yeah and they give out about these big boats and trawlers and everything it wouldn't put a patch on just what's in carry alone what's been taken out of the water like it's mm. it's fright when you do the maths it's yeah yeah i would have to do it now because it's a nine see the zone. thing about it is they have to be like for some reason in our society now, people think that the environment can't be controlled or something, or it shouldn't be controlled, or that we don't have the right to control it, or we're not custodians of it. And like, for example, in Clarin, you have the deer. Mm-hmm. If the deer are going into the farmer's mm-hmm. fields mm-hmm. and destroying his crops, mm-hmm. he won't be long getting shot. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. So if there's a seal destroying this man's gear, mm-hmm. He should have the right to shoot it. Well, mm-hmm. I put it this way, right? Yeah. If a seal only eats 50 kilos of fish a day, mm-hmm. and he and there's 1,800 seals, that's 90 tonne of fish a, d- a day. Mm-hmm. Right? That by, that's 32,850 tonne a year. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just mm. outrageous figures. Like, that's why you're told 1.5 of a tonne. It's just... It couldn't be that fat yeah, yeah, on yeah. 1.5 tonne of fish a year. Like, you couldn't. Mm-hmm. We eat more than 1.5 tonne of fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're yeah. going to get a lot of backlash for this one. <laughs> like, it just, well, I mean, like, you know, I don't, I just, I don't I'm mean. Telling you we are, like. <laughs> I don't mean the backlash, you know, like, yeah. if a if hundred, you know, backlashing people, yeah. I, I would really welcome to hear one voice uh, from the scientists yeah. or from, you know, because... Um, I don't know. I, w- I, w- I wish we could we could have someone as well in this room, right? But Liam and, was and right at the start. A lot of these fellas mm-hmm. won't talk. But yeah. think about yeah. it. If yeah. he's at 1.5 ton, right? Mm. That's four kilos of fish a day. You're telling me a, a big <laughs> seal is going to live at four kilos four of fish? Four kilos is one, one, one no. half size pollock, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. You're telling me he's yeah. going to live yeah. off yeah. of that? Yeah. yeah. yeah no. It's complete lies. Like yeah. It just yeah. frustrates life. It's one thing you have a problem, but then when they're lying about the problem, that just really gets under the skin. Yeah. Like, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got you. I so got 32, you. 32,000 ton. Yeah. Well, 33 nearly. Yeah. So, so, you know, what's the how do you, how do you see this thing to play out? How we, how do you see the future? Like, I mean, is is it is it like, uh, you know, because you not seem to be man who who gets you know defeated easily. So you presumably you're gonna continue. The winters are long, so I get bored and I start <laughs> picking on doors. That's what happens. Like because we can't go fishing, so what else are you gonna do? Just annoy people that are in power. Mm-hmm. And eventually you keep knocking on that door and it might open someday. But mm-hmm. at the moment, it's just, yeah, the problem isn't going away. So yeah, well, I'm not really going away. Yeah. Not- if you're if you're through this through, through this podcast, you know, before before we wrap this up, um, if you through this podcast, if you if there is like one or two or maybe 100 people who listen to that, and thinking right now, right, we need to do something. I would like to do something. I would like to help. I would like to get to the bottom of this. What would you say? What 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 should they do? It's hard to say. I, like, I couldn't say what, what should they do. The only thing I should think people should put pressure on parks and wildlife because they're in charge of the seals and said there is a problem. Get them to, get them to see there is a problem. If you see, like, 
hundreds of seals, take pictures, just just show that there is a, an abundance of them. Mm-hmm. And so if they're doing any damage to wildlife, because they do damage to wildlife, they do eat the birds, they do eat do all this. There's no That's the damn thing about the eating dolphin was crazy. Yeah, but, the, I would but never, that was a once off. I don't I've never but yeah, it but did it, happen but, like <laughs> Well if it happens once it's <laughs> happened more more But than they once. are vicious and like so I see I can't say what people should do or what look out for because I don't know myself. Mm-hmm. I just need the people in power to give us licenses so we can go away and just if they or if they went away and did it, we'll cover it or they'll cover one of the two, just mm-hmm. come out and just take out so many, but give us the license mm-hmm. to do it mm-hmm. or else do it yourselves. How would you organize that? Like if you if you have now, let's say, Liam, you are in charge and you can you can sort this out, what would you do? Well, like I want them to tell me what is the st- sustainable number first before mm-hmm. I do anything. And if they can't do that, but then they're not doing their job. They get they get funded to do this. Why can't you do mm. their jobs? Like uh, it's it's awesome. I love this answer. Mm. I love this answer because maybe I was setting you up a little bit here with I know, this question, it's... and you got like a perfect answer. Like, okay, what's the number? Mm. Give me the number, and and I love it because this is this is what I'm saying. That's mm. the first thing. How many deer we have? How many yeah. seals we have? What yeah. is the carrying capacity of the environment? And then you can, you you can, can but you can't it. say there's a carrying capacity in the environment because no one knows the question. The world changes every year. It all these things happen. Mm-hmm. They say, "Oh, global warming." I don't know if that's true. We had an ice age. We're into a warmer age now, or whatever. It's coming. Like mm-hmm. things happen, and mm-hmm. we can't stop it. Mm-hmm. So stop with the whole crap of carbon tax mm-hmm. and everything like mm-hmm. that because it's just annoying now at this stage. Mm-hmm. But um, back to this, let's see. We have to stop them. Why can't we go back to what we traditionally did? all the other countries all the traditional people got to do it yeah. why can't we do it like why can't the people from the islands do it like why why does it have to be mm-hmm. the way it is like why how come europe are taking away all our traditions and everything like that mm-hmm. shortly we won't have, we won't be irish shortly mm-hmm. the that, way yeah, we're going that's, that's like, very true yeah it's not fair like we could just say oh well, look and what could you do you know do you know if there was a call on seals what could you start doing, like fishing wise? Could you open up the, the white fish again inshore? We wouldn't. We'd have to we'd let the stocks come back a bit again. Yeah. Like we mm-hmm. couldn't try and just go, lads, we're going fishing now yeah. straight away. And, everything. and they're doing but, that much damage to the stocks inshore. But we're not fishing them. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's wasting our time. We can't. Yeah. We have to come out. We, firstly, we need a price and everything, a price for your fish and everything. So. If people go tearing at it, then the price will drop because you flood the market and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So we'd all have to kind of work together in a sustainable way to get things to back to normal the way they were 10, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. But at the moment, we're not fishing them, so we can't be taking them out of the sea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's the problem. Like, it's the seals are taken out of the sea. I just, the max there don't lie. Like, if mm-hmm. you t- even at four kilos, like, you're just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. stuff. <laughs> but... Uh, Gotcha. Um, yeah, but we need, we need, we'd look for 500 on the, the black sky. That's plenty. I think that's plenty. I don't know what mm-hmm. should be, not 5,000. Mm-hmm. I don't know why we'd need 5,000 seals on the Blasket Islands, like, never mind around the country. Mm. Um, no, but, the, but the, the, the point, the point you made that uh, literally all nations who have seals, they have one or another way of controlling them. Mm. Yeah, but the only other country that doesn't control them and it's getting it's starting to increase rapidly is France. Okay. Yes. They, because right. they're under the, the French live no problem calling them. I know, yeah, but in, <laughs> at the moment <laughs> I know plenty of French fellas, they call them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's just it's not happening in Ireland and we need it to happen rapid mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's the problem isn't going away. Well the only problem will go away, they get some disease and wipe themselves out. Yeah. And then we'll have no seals left. Yeah. Well, the, you see, and this is this is this is what I was what I was kind of uh, trying to inquire about, and and y- you know uh, I understand that you're you know you're an honest man. If you don't know, you say that I don't know. So I, I appreciate that. But this is exactly the point that if the population is not controlled in by natural predators, it's not controlled by humans, then you know they will control themselves but they will control themselves in a nasty way through mm. starvation or diseases but they mm-hmm. are starving anyway it doesn't matter are they? yeah but they have to be because they can't be eating that much mm. fish like mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That, that that's a crazy figure. Like they can't catch. They're only going to prey on weak fish anyway. They yeah. only prey on fish caught on hooks that are stopped, like they're stationary or nets. Mm-hmm. They'd probably catch. They're too lazy to fend for themselves. Like mm-hmm. they're not like a dolphin. A dolphin would chase a fish. I don't know how it's yeah. not. Yeah. You don't hear fishermen complaining about dolphins, do you? No. Or any other thing else? Or, or jarks? Or do you know? It, it it it's only one problem, and. Dolphins. That's an inter- that's an interesting point. You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah, I, you de- I never I never heard about complaints about dolphins or. But they or- eat fish and everything, and we have no problem with them because they eat what they need. Like do you know, mm-hmm. if you had only two fish taken out of a net or off the hooks, you wouldn't care. It's when it's everything and the damage they do with it is it's crazy. Like mm. yeah. so, we kind of need. Yeah, that's a very good point. Mm-hmm. To not complain about anything else, are they? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We'd be yeah. just happy if we just got our fishing back on track. And there's one thing, there's two things that are just destroying the fishing at the moment is those big factory ships. Yeah. yeah. The amount of Spanish and French and seals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we could, if you had the same level of boats mm-hmm. of Ireland to the Europe, it'd be fine. We'd be all fair then. And if you brought the seals back to the war 20 years ago, we'd be fine again because they have proved they can multiply rapid. Yeah. Do you know, it's not a case that they won't multiply, they will multiply. So why can't we just bring things back to the way they were? Yeah, yeah. Um, Guys, uh, thank you so much for this conversation. I, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Um, thanks for your time. Thanks, uh, Dan, for calling me up and, and kind of organizing that podcast. That's, that's <laughs> no thanks problem. Thanks to you and, and, and uh, Liam. Thanks, thanks so much for, for coming on and, and, and sharing that uh with us um is is there anything you would like to leave us with any 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 final final thoughts to be observant of what is what you're eating number one and where it's coming from um because when you eat fish think of a fisherman mm. think what the hardship you're going through mm. you have to go bad days you have to fighting for this fighting for that and then you have like the costs of everything just think when you're sitting down in a restaurant what you're actually ordering Mm. And please just stick to Irish fish and Irish locally caught fish mm. and everything should be good. Right. Awesome. Guys, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Tommy. Thanks, Liam. Thanks.